Happy birthday to nobody or somebody or anybody. Um, it's your boy, Ergonomical, back at it again. We're going to leave Halloween Town. Actually, there's stuff here that I want to get. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap out the party. Because we missed some of the goodies of Trinity Limits. Trinity Symbols, I guess is the word I meant to say. Um, and then once we're done that, there will probably be another... Um, tournament at Olympus Coliseum, so we'll go check that out. And then we'll go to... I think Neverland is on the way around, so we can go to Neverland, get that done and out of the way. That's, that's a white trinity, we don't want that. And then... Well, maybe we can get through a couple more worlds, just because um, I've got some time on my hands. And I wanted to get it done. A sap rocky. Oh god, okay. I didn't realize that was gonna happen, so. Perfect. Perfect execution. Defense up. Absolutely. Excuse me. And I missed that, so that's good. Can we get a jump? Can we get a ledge grab? 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 No, we cannot. Okay. So here I am, acting a fool. No big deal. There's a ledge right here. And then we jump over to this ledge. And then we grab that. It's all these freaking gummy pieces, man. Look, I'm not playing this round to do all the side missions and stuff. I'm literally just here for plot. So the fact that it keeps giving me gummy shit pisses me off. But, whatever. I mean, it's preset. It's not like it's going to be randomized. Not like... Ooh, I wonder what a randomized Kingdom Hearts generator would look like. Especially with uh, Epic Games. Fucking Epic! Um, releasing it on their platform. Uh, for PC, I'm sure there's plenty of uh, randomizers and stuff out there now. That would be cool to try out. But, not that it's unfortunate by any means, but I'm playing this on PlayStation. And so, I uh, do not have the capability of trying out randomizers, as it were. And of course, that's the wrong tunnel that we're trying to go through. Uh, I don't think there's too much else here for me to get until I get the White Trinity. And since that's the case, we are gonna get the bump out of here. Okay. We go to. Almost went to the title screen. Gummy Ship. Uh, yes, Neverland Ahoy! So, Neverland is where we're going to finally see your girl Kyrie. Uh, um, a little bit more plot happens in Neverland, which is great because a lot of the the world stuff is uh, all exposition uh, for the Disney worlds. It's and then there's like little tidbits that matter for the overarching story, but. Not a ton until either after you've beaten a world or um, certain worlds have more Kingdom Hearts uh, lore and story building that happens. So, Neverland will give us some of that. Also, I realized that uh, Olympus Coliseum didn't give us another tournament, so that's fine. Not a big deal. Um, we will beat that as it comes, just because... We want to make sure that we show as much, if not all, of the story for all of the worlds that we can. Like uh, Winnie the Pooh Pooh. Oh, jeez. Um, not that it's important, but I think it gives us like the last level of cure beating Winnie the Pooh. 
Um, no, no, that does not. Aerith gives us the last level of cure. Um, and that is in Hollow Bastion. Um, just trying to think what else Winnie the Pooh gives us. Nothing really other than, like, remembering to remember your friends and keep them in your hearts. And basically what Tarzan has already told us. You know? Do you know? But, nevertheless, um, you know what? I should edit the gummy ship to give us a faster rocket so we can get through these stupid parts faster. Maybe a little bit more armor because uh, later part in the game gives me a lot of grief when you have to go back to Hollow Bastion, like the back doorway. Oh, oh, I thought it was Monstro for a second. I forgot that this happens. We don't technically go to Neverland first. Oh, a big ship is catching up to us. That's it. It's all the voice acting I did. It's gonna ram us! Hold on, tight! Tight like my ass! It's gonna ram my ass! Sora. Inappropriate. And now we're in Neverland, suddenly. Just because the Jolly Roger picked us up. Not sure how that works, but... These woodies. Sora's always wanted to be a pirate, though, so this kind of, like, bodes well for come, him. Sora. <gasps> it's also re recalled. It's good to see you again. Well, where are Donald and Goofy? I've murdered them. Are they that important to you? More important than old friends? Old? Instead of worrying about them, We've been apart for 17 be hours. That's it. About her. Kyrie. Oh, Kyrie. That's right. Well, you were off goofing Goofying around. Goofying around. I find Goof troop. Found her. You didn't find her for shit. It was the villains that found her because they needed to. Because she's one of the princesses of heart. Why are you siding with the heartless? The heartless obey me now, Sora. Now I have nothing to fear. Uh, there's a lot to fear in, in that, my friend. Stupid. Sooner or later they'll swallow your heart. Yeah. Not a chance. My heart's too strong. No. Riku. I've picked up a few other tricks as well. Like this, for instance. This that I I don't know how that's a trick. You can go see your friends now. Oh, it doesn't have eyes. That's Let's get underway already. That's just creepy. And keep Sora away from Kyrie until we're ready to land. Okay, yeah, I don't remember any of this stuff happening um before getting into Neverland. I remember like the ship picking us up and then Sora, Donald and Goofy waking up in the underbelly of the ship with Peter Pan. <laughs> that scurvy brat thinks he can order me around. What shall we do, Captain Hook? What shall we do, Stop Captain it. Hook? The hold is crawling with heart. The hold. That's where we end up. But Captain, you know who is also down. But anyways, I don't remember this part happening. I remember Sora falling into the hold, meeting Peter Pan, and then being like, like asking Peter Pan, "Hey, have you seen another girl?" Yeah, it was definitely Kyrie. I finally found her. Yeah, I don't remember this part. I mean, I remember this part happening, but I don't remember it happening in the original release and playing it when I was a kid. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I just remember coming to this part. This is the first part. How you doing there? Looking for a way out? This was the part that I remember from my childhood. Answer to your prayers. And then I didn't realize that part was a door because it doesn't, you know, go all the way from the ceiling to floor. So my brother and I were just like, how do we get, is there an other entrance to this world that we don't know about? Is there a secret? Like, what happens after you talk to Peter Pan? Where are you supposed to go? So we kept leaving the world, coming back, leaving the world, coming back. Couldn't figure it out. And then we were just walking around the room and then suddenly, but walked through the door. My brother's like, oh my God, there's a fucking door. So... That was how we discovered 
that that slab there is a door. Kick him. Yeah. You kick that son of a bitch. Come on, Tink. Open up the Come on, door. Ding. <clears throat> I'm Peter Pan. I'm Sora. Okay. We're in this together. <laughs> what a Don't snarky little, little bitch. Um, Goofy for Peter Pan, please. Because Peter does a lot of damage. So my brother and I kept leaving. And they're like, where do we go? Where do we go? Oh my god, that's a door. Because it doesn't give you the indicator either. Like, hey, this is a door. This guy dances. He, he uh, he Fortnite dances on us when he wins. Also, again with the tight spaces in this game, making the camera angles suck, making the use of the camera janky. Um, oh my god. I hate it. I hate, I hate everything about, like, the camera and the, oh my goodness, the computer going nuts again. Um, yeah. I love this game, don't get me wrong, like, I'm probably too close. The, the plot is great, the characters are great, but the, I just can't get over like gameplay aspects, you know? And I'm sure that's the case for a lot of things in life, especially game-wise. It's not that big a deal. I can bear it, but it's just a lot sometimes. Like, why such close quarters? Like, why not make it a little more open? Kingdom Hearts 2, they did a great job of doing that. So, and then 3 went even further, and it was just like, nothing but open world stuff, guys. We have the technology. And they sort of did here, too, in PS2 era, because there was, a uh, like, Jack and Daxter, because, you know, Come to think of it, there was a lot of like tight spaces in those games, but there was a lot of open world too. Um, platforming stuff. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, somewhat. Again, platformer, but to the best of its ability, it was open world ish esque. Um, not as tight spaces. See, the camera fucks about. Yeah, whatever. Um, down here is a good place to grind. Uh, at this point of the game, as well as later parts, or uh, later in the game when the worlds get beefed up uh, after unlocking or locking the. Actually, no, unlocking the the big door at Hollow Bastion. Because uh, you get nice, big, beefy Heartless coming in. And then by then, you've got like Thundaga, and you're crushing it. And Donald's actually being able to do shit. Oh, look at this. And they just keep coming. They just keep coming. Thank you, Donald. And these guys give good EXP right now. Like, usually the main sort of heartless uh, in each level. So, like, the soldier from Traverse Town. Soldier and Air Soldier. Um, the... Uh, what do you want to call him? The bandit from... Agrabah, the uh, White Knight, I think, from Halloween Town, and oh my goodness, there's another one. I know there is, and I'm blanking on it. Anyways, those guys usually only give ten exp. These guys give nearly thirty, which is great. Haven't you cooled off yet, Tink? No, she hasn't. Ooh. Just a little bit of pixie dust. There. Now you can fly. 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 Up you go with a high end hole to a place beyond the moon. There's a Neverland waiting for you. There you go. She's not one of them. Wendy's not one of them. Hoist anchor as soon as possible. Leave all the dead weight behind, including her. After the trouble of capturing her? And why those seven? What is Maleficent planning anyway? Oh, Maleficent doesn't know the plan. Or, er, didn't share her plan. Getting heart back, I 
See, that's the thing, Riku. You think you're getting her heart back. And you are getting her heart back, but you're only getting it back for a short time before it's used to open the door and she's whew, gone forever. It's like Full Metal Alchemist in that way, you know? I just finished rewatching that for the umpteenth time as well. And they sacrifice people. And then they're gone forever to make this thing, this portal, or this door, or a philosopher's stone, whatever. Same concept. Seven princesses of heart are gathered. You're not getting their hearts back. I mean, you will get her heart back, but you need her heart to open the door. What is it, Tink? And then it's gone forever. But not Wendy. Wendy's not pure enough, I guess. She must have some, like... Bad... I'll be right up there. Bad pieces on. going on in there. Wendy? Maybe like greed or Another girl in there lust. Oh, or yes. But she seems to be a I don't know. She hasn't budged an inch. Kyrie, Her eyes aren't Kyrie. dead enough to be a puppet. But you know what? Her body reacted because her heart is nearby, so that's probably why her hand just moved. Because she's just like, give me my heart back, bitch. My dog's barking. I don't know why. Wendy. Oh no, hey, Wendy's gonna get this. thrown off the, the plank. She's gonna walk the plank. Meteor gummy. Again with the gummy. Guys, come on. Get it out of here. We don't want it. Oh, what the heck? Back down here? Oh, yeah, you know what? That makes sense, because we went underneath, and then now we're back here. Can I go up? No? Okay. Is there another door in here that I can go to? Oh, I remember. I'm stupid. I do have to go up. Right. Henry! Stop it! This is a silly dog. This house is also very hollow, so... You can hear everything through the floor. He's right above me. The spare bedroom where he likes to sleep all day. The lazy boy. Oh god, it's a barrel spider. Okay, we need to go. So that's where Wendy was. So we gotta go over. Yeah. Where are we going? Yeah. Look at that. We made it. Now we go in here. And now we're gonna swap out. Peter Pan for Goofy, because there's this Trinity limit here. Look at that. Goofy, that's a little provocative, dude, and Sora came raring to go? Come on. Too much, guys. Too much. This is a rated E for everyone game. Guys, Goofy, come on, dude. Bump out of my way. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's creepy. Why do you have a keyblade now? Like, I, I don't. I never understood why this was canon. Um, and then this heartless version of me was never like, or Sora, not me. Um, was never brought up again. It was like. If a Heartless was already made of Sora before he actually turned himself into a Heartless, what was what was the point of the plot? Like, I don't know. Is this just a Heartless made to be in the shape of Sora? Is this an actual Heartless of Sora? How can it hold a dark keyblade like that? Is the keyblade even real or is it just like an arm piece? I don't know. Anyways, it's all fun and games until Sora dies, which is fairly soon. <laughs> but you didn't hear it from me. This guy takes so many hits. Oh, and I hate that he does that. But that's like a, I guess, a clear giveaway that it's actually heartless. Shadow Heartless, not like a actual copy of Sora. Because they do a little squiggly thing when they run underground. Um, so that's always fun. 
Get out of here. Nope. Come on, man. You gotta make it difficult for me, don't you? You're so close to being dead. Ah, uh, now you're gonna squiggle about. There he goes. He just casually walks around, too, like... Ah, I got this into the bag. No big deal. Cocky. Smarmy. Smarmy boy. This is so... Ugh. Ah, chills. Raven's Claw. <gasps> is that a Harry Potter reference? Is, is that the Harry Potter reference for Kingdom Hearts? Harry Potter, Ron, and Hermione confirmed for Kingdom Hearts 4. Let's see. What can we replace? For start? Raven's Claw gives us 32 strength. 31 strength. Less AP. Ooh. Okay, so... How about it lowers our HP? We don't want that. We say no, thank you. Strength to 26. For either of those. Oh wait, we gotta. We need to steal the stuff from Peter Pan. <laughs> um. Ooh. 22 defense. Ooh. Twenty-one. Okay. Um. Any new abilities? We got treasure magnet. I'll turn that on. Donald. Second win. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take off berserk and give him second win. Goofy. Second chance. That's definitely worth keeping. Um. Take off lucky strike. For second chance. That works for me. Oh, I can't go through that door, I guess. Do I have to go down or can I open this? <laughs> Alright, we found Wendy. Does she matter? Absolutely not. Wendy. So let's put a dagger through her and get out of here, you know? Well, this is as far as I can go. I gotta help. Ah, you pushover. Pussy whipped. Whoops. Goodbye, Peter Pan. He's a sucker for the little girls. He's a he's a boy that never ages, but he's technically old as hell if you think about it. And he's trying to get with this, this little girl. So creepy, dude. And you whisk them away in the middle of the night, take them away from their families. Peter, that's just wrong on a lot of levels, man. Uh, if you think about it, Peter Pan's technically a pedophile. I'm sure, like, in the original... Sorry, why? In the original stories, that was, like, the point that they were trying to get across. It was, like, Peter Pan. More like Peter the pedophile. Wah, wah. I mean, all the original stories from fairy tale ages are all... have somewhat of a... Shitty ending. Like, uh. What was it? Um, Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty, um. Gets taken advantage of while she's asleep and gets pregnant and has a kid all while she's asleep. Um. Something Snow White in the Seven Dwarfs is something about getting, being poisoned and. Or, or, like, the prince was poisoned and she never actually woke up? Um... I don't remember that one exactly. I remember the Little Mermaid one is, like... Instead of... You know, happily ever after, she... <laughs> tears her legs, or her fin... 
down the middle to make herself legs. Ah. Um, but yeah, just stuff like that. Making the stories, like, not child-friendly, but Disney's like, no, no. Hold up. We're gonna make it colorful and fun and sing-songy and... And we're gonna put a better twist on it. But you won't be going there. You won't be going to Hollow Bastion, boys. You know why? Because we're gonna make you walk the plank. Unless you intend to leave your little pixie friend behind. Well, she's not our friend, so I don't care. Just give me back Riku and Kairi. Tell me where they went. Oh, he just did. I'm stupid. Sora, you're just such a pushover, dude. You're just like Peter Pan. You're a slave to the... You can give him the Keyblade, watch what happens. I mean, he did it to Captain Jack Spurra. He did it to Riku. You know you gotta do it to him. Oh, it's a, it's a love story in the making. The crocodile just loves Captain Hook. Love you, Captain. Oh, Sora. They should have that meme. You know, I had to do it to him. Or was it wasn't crossed arms, it's hands in pockets, I think. You know, I had to do it to him. Get him! Oh, right into the alligator's mouth. Crocodile, whatever. Cro crocodile rock. Aw, oh, Peter Pan came back hey, after you all. You didn't think I'd leave you and Tink behind, did you? I think this is the fastest level that I've done. Oh yes, level two healing. Fantastic. Okay, Peter, we're gonna put you in for goof troop. We can fly. You're all going down. Oh, I thought we were at the boss already. Oh, after we do this, it's the boss. That's right. But I, yeah, I think this is like the fastest level that we've completed so far. Ooh, Peter Pan using stop. Look at you. Snazzy. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, where's the next set of enemies? There they are. The air pirates. Ugh, these guys suck. They just fly around in circles. Unless you hit them with stop or thunder or fire or something. Second chance. I thought I had that on Sora already. No, oh, no. Well. So, my computer is in, in the midst of takeoff right now. But, um, I was considering going out to a Best Buy yesterday and picking up a discounted game computer for uh, Black Friday. But, um, I was like, nah, it'll still be there. At the the one I want to go to in Guelph um, on Saturday when I go out that way to see my brother, but uh, sure enough, it uh, is sold out at all surrounding stores. So um, looks like I'm waiting until Boxing Day to look for something, which is probably a little better because that's when I'll have a little bit more Monet. Is that you, me? Did you finish them all? Oh, excuse me. I, Captain, they walked the plane. Every last one of them. I just love how it's... Peter Pan's able to do... voiceovers or, like, throw his voice or sound like other people. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, we gotta destroy these things first, because, um, I love the design of these Heartless. I was really upset that they never made a comeback. They're super cool. Super, like, new. Get out of here. Yeah, I don't want to be flying around for this boss. We want to we wanna kick his ass on the ground, because he doesn't fly. Er, er, er. 
Come on now, boy. Why are you, why, why are you so... Oh, okay, so he's gonna get eaten by the crocodile. We're gonna murder this thing. Get some bonus P. Some bonus points. Oh, yo, what? Both my guys... Oh, you know what? That makes sense because I took away all Peter's stuff. Um... Now you can heal Peter for me. Peter Pan! There we go. Peter Pan's got like no MP for a guy that uses a lot of magic stuff. Like, he uses stop a lot in his special attacks. To be fair, I didn't change his uh, layout uh, for battle like I did for Donald and Goofy, so. Come on now, Captain Hook. Don't be a salty old spittoon. Get out of here with that. Oh, thank you, Donald. My boys! This guy is what's causing us all the grief in this boss fight. Knocking my boys out while I'm trying to slay Queen. Slay Queen. Queen Slay. Yas. Yas, Queen Slay. Okay, hooky. You hooker. Get out of here. You're gonna eat it, whether you like it or not. Ooh, tech 35. Oh, this stop works on him? For barely anything. But it was just enough. I just bought my phone on the, the desk. And there goes your other hand, Captain Hooker. Captain Booker DeWitt. Learned Ars Arcanum. Not a bad one to have. I want Glide though, so if you wouldn't mind giving me that, excuse me, as a uh, group thing, that'd be great. No, she didn't. It's not gone. She's fine. She's okay. I really oh. Blew. Wait till I tell Kyrie. oh my god. I wonder if she'll believe no, she won't. You know why? Because you're a horrible you storyteller, Sora. Then she can try it herself. If you believe, you can do anything, right? Bring her back. And you know what? He never did bring her back. I, I, yeah, I mean, she technically is so here so with him right now. About flying, the pirates, and everything else that's happened. You technically don't have to. She's living it all with you right now, dude. What about the clock tower? You say there's something there. Tinkerbell is the equivalent to Old Yeller. Or Lassie. Sorry. There was this TV show on back in the 80s, I think. Maybe early 90s as well. Called Lassie. And it's about this border collie who or this family and their border collie. <laughs> and the the most iconic thing I think was for me was um the family being like what's that lassie Timmy fell in the well and then they go and they you know go in the well and sure enough there's Timmy what time is it right now apparently there's well not apparently there's um a door or multiple doors that open at certain times of the day that give you bonuses and my brother and I didn't figure that out entirely we thought it was just certain doors that unlocked or that were unlocked and gave us a little, a little presents but my buddy told me because he played through this game fully and he collected everything he's a completionist like myself and um, he figured that out and told me about it and I was like I did not realize that it was like a time-based event thing and I think it's like you have to stand and wait oh it'll be on the clock actually the clock face but it'll probably only work after I've done there it is after I've changed this original one 
to be at the same time so that I can unlock the keyhole and close this world off. So this is where one of the special bosses is and in order to stop the countdown from killing yourself and your party you have to cast stop on the clock and then you have to use either fire blizzard or thunder magic on it uh, its heart to be able to attack it. It's definitely a very neat boss but um, difficult. Okay, one second. I need to mute this. So sorry about that. Both my brother and my wife called me. So, it's so weird saying that now. My wife. My wife. Just got married last month, so it's still a little fresh, but it's nice. I like being able to say that. My fiance was getting so drawn out. It's been two years, but still, it's like, uh, I just want to call her my wife. My wife. Love it. My brother called me to find out when I was going over to his place because he's on his way home from work now. When we grow up, let's get off this island. So this is a flashback to that other scene that we saw in another episode. Because something else happens after this. She arrived on the night of the meteor shower. Because she came in a gummy ship. Oh, Riku can see the keyhole. I didn't realize he could see the keyhole. Probably because he was the one that was past the keyblade, so... Oh, now he's feeling the effects of darkness. It was reckless to bring her here without at least using a vessel. Remember, Get over it. Relying too heavily on the dark powers could cost you your heart. Mm, not your heart. I don't think. More like your a cast away. physical appearance. Though his world perished, his heart did not. So, if your heart is strong enough, you can traverse worlds to follow those that you love. Which is, based, so Beast technically has the power of waking, if you think about it, if you're savvy with Kingdom Hearts. It uh, is now canon that Beast has the power to travel through um, his heart and through the connections to find the hearts and the people that he loves in other worlds. Beast has the power of waking. Fantastic. Can't wait to bring that up to somebody. And have a discussion about it. So she just imbued Riku with more powers of darkness, which gives him his fancy little, like, um, outfit. Which is funny because it's the exact same outfit that Benitas wears. Just uh, differently color schemed a little bit. Not a lot. Um, but yeah. Um, why are you laughing at Tinkerbell, who is, by the way, one of the best summons in the game? Just saying. Oh boy, she's getting steamed again. Do me a favor. Look after her for me, will ya? Yes, sir. What? She's your girlfriend now, Sora. Yes. We can glide. Shared glide. Can't wait till we get super glide though. That would be even better. Um, fairy harp. Yes, absolutely fantastic. Love this little keyblade. I wish I owned this keyblade. Actually, I would. I would pay money for that. Um. Okay. So they're all set to. Can you change the time on this one? Why am I walking onto Wendy? No. I don't remember which clock face it is. One of them changes time. Maybe I have to leave and then come back and it'll be set to the time of the, the PS4. And then once... I don't care. I, I don't care enough to sit through. Because it's a lot 
that you gotta do. It's like every three hours or something, something pops up. You know, like three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, zero. I think I'm not too sure. I'm not even gonna bother looking it up right now. <gasps> Sid'll install it on the ship once we bring it to him. Oh, yes. There's a timer being held to toss in. I hear there's a great reward for the winner. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. I knew it would happen. I knew it would happen for us. We stand. The Kingdom Hearts lore. I still don't get what that means, but if we stand. We look at us gliding. We like his feet like shake. Anyway. Let's go. Send me to the Hercules. Hercules. I wonder I wonder if Disney did it on purpose. Change it to Hercules instead of Heracles. It's not like Hercules or Heracles' name is trademarked by the Greeks. I'm sorry, what? Did I just bop him and he died? Cool, cool. Gargoyles down in three hits. Fairy Harp, OP. Yes, sir. But to be fair, this world also has like a low ranking right now until later in the game. So it's all good. Oh jeez, I just bopped it and it died. Bop, bop, bop to the top. Which is the top of the leaderboard, I mean. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, done. Too easy. Get on my level. I need to get these guys new weapons though because... A little outdated. Buccaneer! Aw, oh, dude, I just watched Full Metal Alchemist, like I said before, and Buccaneer is the name of one of the, one of the dudes from Briggs. And he dies. So, this is kind of traumatic for me, having to relive that. I mean, I could cry a lot anyway, but, like, that show hits me. Hits me in the feels. So I, I like to rewatch it every now and again to remind myself that I need to feel things every now and again, you know? I need to be a person and feel emotions. Stray Phantom. Stray Phantom would be the actual Phantom Harvest, not this nonsense. I don't want to have undead things in my video games. What is this? The angry video game nerd? Get out of here. Oh, there goes the computer again. If it's it, it's not it's not an ergonomical stream or video recording without me bringing up my computer at least once per s <laughs> per session. Okay, why did you not Okay, that's annoying. Anyway, the the goal of that heartless is to make it stay in the air for at least 10, 10 tries or something like that. Oh, we're finally going to get Metal Chocobo once we defeat the Cloud. Hey Donald, you want to give me some arrow? That'd be great. Kill yourself, Jesus, Donald. Come on, man. Cloud is a little uh, obnoxious, dude. Get out of here, you. Why are you going after my boy Goofy? He already dies. Ah, uh, what is this? 
Uh, this is cross slash move or something or omni slash. This is this is the move that um, the cloud summon in Chain of Memories gives us, and it's really bad. The best version of it is probably the um, teleport slash that he has, and that that's about it because he goes up right behind the enemy that you want or that you're locked on to whereas he otherwise you summon him and he just floats around for a little bit it's really annoying obnoxious and unhelpful we did it, we did it. there you go metal chococo metal chococo you go metal chococo he doesn't even go here. Is that true? Do you go here? Do you not go here? Damn it. I bumped it. I bumped the line. So there is a matchup in this either this tournament or the Hades Cup. Where um it's each of the special part lists from all of the levels, so like White Knight, Soldier, Bandit, uh, the Pirate Dude, oh, just Pirate, I guess. And it's it's like the event, or yeah, they're called the Avengers or something. It's hilarious, but uh, yeah, thought it thought it was super cool that they included a thing like that to showcase all the special ones they did for one for per world or whatever. Because they all look sort of similar, it's just like tiny little things that are tweaked to, uh, to make them individualized for each world. I love that. I love the care that went into character design. There he is. I just wish there was more appearances of these older ones <clears throat> Excuse me, in newer games. Like updated or whatever, you know, you know, you know, you get it. Show me what you got, Hercules. Wait, let's go one on one. Oh, that's. <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> Good luck, Sora. <laughs> Murder. <laughs> I'm not gonna go easy on you. That's right, he talks like this. I'm not gonna go easy on you with his pursed lips. I feel like that's how he talks, you know, like Trump. Too political, sorry. Uh. Gotcha! Oh man, that's usually so freaking hard to do. Oh, come on, man. Her Harem, please. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here, dude. No, Sora. Why? I forgot that I had the freaking. That didn't do anything. Are you kidding? Bunch of baloney, dude. Bunch of baloney. Got him. Got him. Yes. Oh. It's so short-lived. I don't understand. I don't get it. No, please stop. Sora, oh my god, enough with that. I don't get it, man. Why is it? Got him. Got him. Got him, and then he goes back to being. Oh jeez, that was too close. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that. His hitbox should be a little wider. Just saying. Come on, dude. Come on. 
got E. How did I not deflect that? And then, oh, <laughs> yes. Uncool, Hercules. Uncool, dude. Stop jumping around. <sighs> this boss fight is annoying. I dislike it a lot. Thank you for letting yourself getting punched in the face, Sora. Eat it. Are you are you serious? I got one shot in. This boss fight I don't know man, like I said, some of the boss fights in this game feel like they weren't really thought out. They weren't they weren't thought through very well. Seriously? Seriously? I get you? And you want to start doing that? Bump you, dude. Thank you. 700p and I didn't level up? That is sacrilege, my friend. We're the champs! Even Phil's happy for us. So great. So happy. We did it, guys. You know what that means? We get... Ooh. Herc's shield. Wow! And I didn't even hold back! I didn't even hold back! Shut up. Now I finally know what you mean about strength of heart. Mine comes from Donald and Goofy. Just Donald and Goofy? Come again? If we stick together, we're unbeatable. Damn right. Not even Hercules stands a chance. But you just took him on solo, so... What does that mean for her to you? But that's not exactly what Of course. Your friends give you strength. Isn't that right, Phil? The three of you together make great heroes. You make great and heroes. As a team, I'm sure you can overcome anything. <laughs> Two keyblades in one playthrough and a yellow trinity, you know what that means, boys. It's time to move this frickin' stone finally. Donald's just doing it to grab some that. He's playing grab ass over here. Ooh. That's a fancy looking one. That looks like the one from frickin' Agrabah. Now, will Olympia be stronger than Fairy Harp? Will... Metal Chocobo be stronger than Fairy Harp? I know a lot of people like to use Metal Chocobo. I mean, they changed the stats. I got crusty in my eye, so I'm rubbing it too much. Um, they changed the stats and uh, effects of some of the equipment, like the Keyblades and the shields and the stabs and whatnot, in um, the Remix game, because Metal Chocobo was way stronger than what it actually is. Oh my god. Reduces max MP by one. Rarely deals critical blows. So what do I want you then? <sighs> Two strength, but no, I'm gonna stay very hard. Uh and goofled. <laughs> yes, please. Donald. You're fine for now, Donald. Cool, so that's Two worlds down. Now we have the Yellow Trinity. So we can go back and visit some places to get stuff done. I think there's going to be a cutscene here, though, for Hades now. Nope. I was wrong. As always, of course. Because why wouldn't I be wrong? Why not? You know? Just fuck me. Fuck me. Oh, oh, it it's fine. Stop getting upset about it. Okay, let's go see if we can make some more stuff. Stewie stuff. Nope. Of course. Because why would I be able to? I just want an EXP ring. No matter how you say it, it still sounds like EXP earring. EXP earring. 
Can you edit my stuff? Oh, <laughs> this is guy was supposed to come to anyway. Got yourself another navigation gummy there, huh? I'll bet you want it installed. Yeah, please. <laughs> okay, wait here, kiddo. I'll get it installed right quick. <laughs> saunter, saunter, saunter. And now, cutscene. Brought to you by... Sora. Now, just remember what Donald said to you. No frowning, okay. no sad Why would he be sad? I don't understand. How can you be so cheerful? Ah. There's still no sign of your king. Aren't you worried? Absolutely. Sora, move your mouth a little. Sora, did Sarah. Sora, move your mouth a little, dude. And we found you, so as long <sighs> as we stick together, it will me. work out okay. You just gotta believe in yourself. That's you just all. gotta believe in yourself. That's all. Just believe. Do you believe in love and love? I've been there. Okay, this. This. It's also in Kingdom Hearts 3. Not this exact scene, but the, the like, background stuff. What are we looking at right now? Oh, hold. Where, how do we know this story? How are we hearing this? I'll tell you how. Because Kyrie's heart is inside Sora's heart. The people began to fight over it, blah, 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 and darkness was born in their hearts. So they were fighting over the light. The darkness spread, swallowing the light and many people's hearts. It covered everything and the world disappeared. But small fragments of light survived. So this story that she's telling is the story of the Battle of Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Or, um... Union... Kai? Union... Kingdom Hearts Kai something, but Union Cross was the final name of it. It's got like four or five different names. Started off as a PC game, finished the storyline, transitioned into a mobile game, and then in during the mobile game it replayed everything from the computer version of the game, and then made you realize that, oh shit, that's because we are living in a simulation, and <laughs> then it tells the story of after the simulation and who the new foretellers were um and that's again a story for another day but this the story of union cross um is what the grandmother here is telling about uh those small fragments of light that survived were the dandelions who were a secret um organization of keyblade wielders that were gathered they were like the sixth um, faction of the unions because there were five main unions uh, led by Gula, Envy, oh my god what are their names? Ira, Gula, Envy, Ava, oh and there's another one, Rizvi? That maybe that might not be it. Anyway, there's five of them, and six technically if you count um, Lushu. Um, that's again another story for later. And then Ava was tasked with creating the Dandelion faction, who then um, became the new foretellers and then created, uh, spread their light back through the world. In the hearts of children. All the children, all the Keyblade Builders were children at the time. These fragments of light, children rebuilt the lost world. It's the world we live in now. But the true light sleeps deep within the darkness. That's why the worlds are still scattered. Divided from each other. But someday a door to the innermost darkness will open. And the true light will return. So listen, child, even in the deepest darkness, 
there will always be a light to guide you, which is true, and you will see that. Believe in the light, and the darkness will never defeat you. Your heart will shine with its power and push the darkness away. Do you understand? Kyrie? Kyrie? Where is Kyrie? Is it me? Am I Kyrie? This is creepy. Kyrie! Little baby Kyrie! So that version of Kyrie is shown in Birth by Sleep. How, you ask? Huh? You'll see. What's the matter? What's the matter? Um, nothing. Kyrie? Did you call me? <laughs> Sora, gummy phones aren't introduced for another seven games. Come on. <clears throat> I installed that navigation gummy. But, you know? That place is crawling with heart. Don't say I didn't warn you. What? Here, take this along. Transform. <laughs> Transform. <laughs> okay. We're gonna slowly glide. So you try to turn a little bit and you get all jank. We're gonna go to this Traverse Town. Third. Third district. Boy. Thunder. Thunder. Oh, nice. A fur. A furry ring. Here. Eat it. Here. Thank you. Oh, we only have regular thunder. We don't even have, like, Thundara yet. That's kind of poo poo. If you think about it, it's a little poo poo. And we're gonna go. Wee. We can't make it all the way though, so we're gonna drop on a rock. That bird house is freaking out, and it's freaking me out. We're gonna do the Trinity limit here. Look at Donald grabbing ass. Somehow that moved them. In that fashion. App up. Hua. And then this is poopies. Look at that. And that's another thing we need to go back and get is some more poopo poo poos. I wonder if we have any summon gems. Let's see. Let's examine. Examine. Do we have any for you? So worried about Cinderella. I don't care about Cinderella. Cinderella can suck them a nuts. Do we have any new torn pages to add? I don't believe we do. Hmm, we've been there, been there, been there. No new torn pages. What a dang shame. Alright. Let's go. Let, let's -a go. Wahoo. Yeah. Okay, the jingle jangles, they can stop. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um now we will go back to the future. Come on, come on. Let's go to the puppy's house. We're gonna go and show Pongo and Perdita their babies. And say, watch this, and then take a bite of their their heads. We're gonna go chomp chomp. Bye bye. Thunder. Thunder. Oh right, there's actual like thunder enemies here in this alleyway. That's a big oopsie on my part. Oopsie poopsie. Okay. Um, ooh. I forgot about that. Yes, please. More puppies. No puppies. Well, now how am I supposed to do my job? If there's no puppies. Uh, nothing up there anymore. 
Look at all them pups. And that's the great thing about the puppies' houses, is that you literally get to see all the puppies walking about. So you go through all the rooms and you'll see all the little, little doggos walking about. What do we get? Thund Thundarg. Mithril Shard. That's it? I brought you so many puppies. So you got a sleeping puppy. And you got some puppies in the window. Puppies in the piano. There's some more sleeping puppies, interested puppies, playing puppies, sleeping under the couch puppies, puppy looking up at a puppy, and a puppy that's gonna die. There's a puppy barking at nothing, a happy puppy. Lots of puppies having a secret meeting. This puppy's following me, puppy. Puppy looking uh, at nothing. Puppy gonna get wasted. Don't eat that. It's poison. Why? Why is my dog barking? Puppy trying to watch TV. Puppy sleep in front of TV. Puppy meeting. Puppy council. Okay, enough of the puppies. We're all done with the puppies. Okay, puppies? Puppies, puppies. Um, probably... Oh, jeez. Probably just gonna... Um... I'm gonna go ahead and go into this room. Come on, there's supposed to be a save point in here. Where's it this one? A red room. No, nope. it's just enemies. Oh, there's a treasure chest in here. I didn't know that. Don't give up. You heard it here first, folks. Donald Duck, don't give up. I'm gonna go adjust my gummy ship, and then we'll probably call it an episode. Just because I got stuff to take care of before I head out. For the day but good progress we always get about one and a half two worlds deep Sid uh, gummy menu please no I know how to do this um no. garage oh yeah I forgot we named it that <laughs> cocks on my face um, it says it has max armor already. I don't believe that. We want max armor and max speed. Oh boy. I had pizza last night, so I guess I'm a little gassed. Okay, we want to make you faster. Look, it's the noisy dog. It's the noisy dog. Who likes to bark at everything. Okay. Oh, yes. Big big boy engine. High power mid-size engine. Mid power mid-size engine. So we've got three of these. So we're gonna... Why can't I pop it there? Oh, I know why. Can't attach more engine gummies. Need to upgrade the computer first. What do you mean upgrade the computer? What the bump does that even mean? How do I unselect this then? I forget how to unselect. What? Pressure. Oh, R1? Why is that the thing that does it? Okay, cockpit. Enhances recovery items effect. I just want to build one from scratch. Uh, no. What's the smallest one that I can delete all of you? 
Yes. Insufficient parts. Yeah, build it anyway. Perfect. So we're gonna delete this this shiz anyway. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go use this cockpit. I'm gonna put it right there. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the blocks. I'm gonna go up, up. Ow, uh, itchy. We only have three, we're not gonna use all of them. I'm gonna go. Oh, of course, you need to have more. Okay. Bigger, need upgrade the computer. I don't know what that means anyway. Okay. Okay. Armor shell two, three. Okay, we're gonna use these. Up, 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 up. up. There we go. Wonderful. We need to increase our maneuverability. Wing for making adjustments. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna do regular maneuverability. It ain't much, but it's a living. And then we're gonna make it look like a kite. Yay! That's so fun. Okay, next. We want special guns. Of course we do. Oops. Okay. Transform. Don't care. Scan. Don't care. Weapons. We want, actually. What weapons do we have? We have a mid-sized cannon, and we have a large cannon. Okay. Go with a large cannon, then. Okay. Okay. And then what about lasers? What kind of lasers we got? Okay, mid-sized lasers. Not bad. Okay, I think that's good. Maybe some armor shell. Oh, we have way more of this than I thought. Um, let's just make it like a. There we go. Three. We go back over here. And then we'll just like that. That and then like that and like that. Cool. I like it. Oh, jeez, spooked me. 
Still only at a two speed? Uh, no shield. I'll save it anyway, but... Why do we not have a shield? What's what makes a shield? Here. I'm so confused. Whatever. Save you yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Exit. Alright. I think that is good enough for today. On that note, thank you so much for tuning in once again. Thank you so much for watching, if you're watching this after the fact. Have yourself a wonderful day and a great weekend. Ergonomical, out.